Oh, hi, Paul. Uh, it's Gareth here at JBT. I'm just going to give you a call in a sec to discuss uh, the meeting I had with the GRP guide just after we went through the survey and uh, went over what was pointed out. And it was just to sort of clarify that it's basically um, all of this marking here, uh, all the way up and all the way down the boat where this, this section has all been uh, flexed. Um, we've got uh, some heavy scoring here, which all goes up and then some more on this rail here. And it works, this starring here, it all works basically back down into this section here. Basically the biggest flex point from this GRP guy told me is where the anchor bulkhead is here, that the boat tends to flex so much more on the front on a Cougar than a lot of boats because it's quite a thin material due to the weight and performance of the boat, that this is not an uncommon thing. So all of that there is taken into, he's trying to take into account. There was obviously some scoring all the way down there, which is all sh shown as cracks. And then obviously down the starboard side, there is basically replicas of this, the other side all the way down. Now it has been repaired once before, uh, and I don't know if you can see here, just where this is all cracked, but there's a color change in the, in, the, in the coating here where it had all basically been previously done, which is obviously was news to me, but obviously it shows that the, the guy is pretty knows what he's talking about, but that's basically the issue, even on this side here, uh, or I don't know if you can just get the camera focus here, but it's all crazed on this spray rail. So basically it is, <laughs> unfortunately it is quite a big task because all this flow coat is gonna have to be sort of ground out exactly where all these cracks are. And there are numerous, numerous marks up here. So um, I just wanted to show it to you before I sort of run through the quote I've been given just to ensure I can put some meat on the bones of what that figure was. Um, but that's that's the, the recommendation from the surveyor. He also pointed out quite a, a big crack, but it's not a bad one according to the guy on this rail here. It's just split here, but he's just, it's not hollow or anything. It's not a void. So basically it just needs to grind it, grind it, uh, put a bit of matting into it and then re go over it, but make sure it's obviously strong. But um, it was just give you a good idea. Uh, I will give you a call in a sec and uh, yeah, uh, see where we go. All right, take care. Speak to you soon.